My name's Sue Wink. I'm a Young People and Children's Services Development Officer. That's a posh title for uh, a person in charge of children's libraries. On a day-to-day -day basis, um, we do school assemblies, uh, we have class visits into the library, we can do chatterbooks clubs, which are reading groups, fun reading groups for children. Dolly comes out and children love to hold her and once they're holding her they lose their inhibitions and they'll start talking to you because sometimes many of the children we talk to have never been in a library in their life. We've got some very, very deprived areas and we have to engage with children in as many innovative ways as we possibly can. I was always wanted to be a teacher and I remember going home from school one day and saying to mum, I don't want to be a teacher anymore. So she said, what on earth are you going to do? So I said, I've heard there's a job in the library. So I said, um, I'm going to try it. And I went and they said, yes, you can have the job as long as you go to university. And that's how I got into it. And it's the best move I've ever made because working in a library is absolutely brilliant. I've loved every minute of it, all 40 plus years of it. When I was at university, I studied librarianship, yes, as a specific course. It was great. When I went for my interview, um, I evidently said the right thing, because they said, why do you want to be a librarian? And I said, because I like people. And they, they said afterwards, the reason I got my place was because I said I wanted to work with people. It was so much easier 40 years ago to get a job. Um, I finished my degree, and I heard about the they were starting a new um, housebound library service in the East End of London. And so I just rang up and I got an interview and um, I, I got the job. I set up an, a housebound library service, which means that you take books out to people in their own homes who are ill or have in, in some infirmities. Uh, not only that, we went to prison libraries and mental hospitals and it was interesting to say the very, very least one of the mental hospitals I went, went into, I was actually stabbed. But you probably edited that out. <laughs> I went down to collect some books from the dining room, and of course I shouldn't have gone, and uh, they'd laid the table for dinner. So one of the people who were a resident got the knife and had a go at me. The high point of my career was last Christmas. I had an after-school club running at a very deprived area, and Parents never came into this library. The children just spent all day there. And they put, we put on a performance and the parents came. We actually got the family interacting together, which had never happened in that library before. And to see them perform it and come out and out of themselves, yes, you're moved to tears. I know that sounds very strange in a librarian's life, but it really does make a difference. I love my out of... Um, work activities. Uh, believe it or not, we rally drive. My son's got a rally car, I have been in it, but now I'm getting older so I do the food. And we go, you know, all over the country. I like the excitement. When your son's racing around, um, you think, oh gosh, it's because he's had some big crashes. You know, so let's please get round. I never think of him getting hurt, I'm more worried if he blows the engine, it costs so many thousand pounds. I've no regrets about the career path I took. Uh, I think it was absolutely the right one for me. The meeting with people was superb. And to end my career, which I will be doing in this post, is the very bestest thing in the world, you know. I know when I, I do leave in a few months' time, I'm not going to be very happy. I shall be very sad and you'll get me crying again, so don't stop it. <laughs>